All right, so we have our interface for our shout box. The next thing we need to do is create our database. All right, so the database is going to be really simple. It's going to just have one table called shouts. All right, so let's go ahead and go to localhost slash PHP my admin. All right, so I'm going to create a new database. I call it shout it. All right, and like I said, we're going to have one table. It's going to be called shouts, and it's going to take four different columns. Okay, so the first is going to be an ID. All right, and we want, I'll set this to 11, and we want to leave it at integer. And then over here, we want to make sure that you choose primary, okay, because it's going to be the primary key and then auto increment so that with each submission uh, the ID will will um, add one automatically okay so if we have three fields one two three and we go ahead and add a new one um, it's gonna be number four all right okay so next we're gonna have user which is gonna be the user's name so this is gonna be a var car and I'm going to make give this a max value of 50. Okay, and then the next is going to be the actual message. And I'm just going to set that to text. All right, and then we have the time. Okay, I'm going to set that to time. And we could we could use timestamp and then use current timestamp so that uh, when the record's inserted, it'll this will be the default. But I don't want to do that. I want to format um, the time in in PHP and then insert it into the database already formatted. All right, so click go. I'm sorry, not go. We want to click save. And if we go to structure, you'll be able to see the fields that we just created. So next we're going to be um, grabbing data from the database and displaying it in our app in the browser. Um, so what I want to do is just insert some records right, right in PHP my admin. All right, so if we click insert, uh, we can add a couple rows here. You want to make sure this, these, this ignore is, is unchecked. All right, so I'm going to get some sample content. All right, and I'm just going to kind of grab sentences here and there. All right, so the user will say Brad, message, uh, time, we'll say 11.23. AM message John eleven twenty four. Okay, next will be um, Sam. We'll do one more. Jen. All right, so let's insert these guys. Um, data truncated. All right, the, we don't have to worry about that. Um, all right, so let's check this out. Uh, I must have, oh, I forgot to put put in the first one here. I'm just going to add it real quick. Uh, message. All right, 
So now we have some shouts in our database. Uh, let me actually just change this to, let's say, 11, 20. All right. So that's, I, I guess that's where I'll stop. Um, I'll stop right here, and then in the next video, we will add the code to connect to our database and then fetch these records out and display them from within our application.